we were talking earlier on about the fact that this is the music you grew up with. Your dad would be yeah. playing this music and he's loving this album. So, <laughs> 1979, I do remember it actually, which is, is shocking. But 1979, I was six years old and I went and bought Michael Jackson's Off The Wall album on vinyl. Yeah. And I remember playing it and my dad was like, what is this? And I said, Dad, this is this guy called Michael Jackson. He's amazing. And he said, you need to listen to this music. Yep. And he would play Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, yep. Frank Sinatra. And I thought, oh, that's old people's music. I thought that's, you know, that's not for me. But as, as you get older, like your food taste changes, yeah. you still like the same food. I still like Michael Jackson, but yeah. you, you grow to like different styles. Mm. And I get it now. I get what my dad was saying. I, I oh, love that classics, music. Absolute classics. Mm. And a joy, I would imagine, a joy to sing. It really is. Yeah. And it's always scary to take on great classics like of that. Of course. But you know, Warner Brothers gave us access to 30 musicians and said, enjoy. Life seems very good for you just now, Peter. I know you're really, really busy. Obviously, we talked about Strictly earlier on, and you're doing that, doing very well. Thank you. Um, very much. I would imagine right after this, you're rushing off to rehearsals a bit like we were talking to Vincent earlier on, yeah. and he's doing the French what version. What a nice guy he Lovely is. Lovely yeah, guy. Great so, singer. Yeah, as well. the two of you have got a lot in common, actually. So you'll be, you'll be toddling off to rehearse now? Going off to rehearsal after this, um, nice. and, and we, we do rehearse quite heavily through the week. You'll be hardly seeing your lovely wife, which, but she was there watching you. That she must was there watching me. That must have been good. Yeah, she's great. You know, and, and it's so nice because we've got this great balance. We've got, a, you know, the family is everything. You go home and your daughter, she's not, my daughter's not even two yet, but she's like waiting at the door for dad to come oh, home. And, it's, and this is what it's all about. You that's know, a beautiful photograph. I too. know. She's, she's rather lovely, I have to say. You've done very actually. well there. <laughs> yeah, she is. I, I, I'm sure if we superimposed David Beckham's face on that, on me, that would have looked a lot better, but yeah. I'm happy with that. No, it's fine. I think it's, <laughs> it's very different this time round, though. You, you've kind of kept... You know, because we know, we all know that you had the reality show and people followed your every move. Do you miss that, or are you happy now with the way that things have worked out and you, you've got a I'm bit more of a private life? So happy, but, you know, I can never ask for privacy. I'm not one of those people. You can't go into this industry open up your life and then all of a sudden sure. turn around and go, oh, no, can I have privacy? You can't do that. No. But I'm, I'm in a much better place because we did the reality show. It was fantastic. Mm. But you've got to move on. Otherwise, sure. people get very bored you Do you know, miss easily. that? Do you miss having cameras following you all the time or is it actually quite a relief? Uh, I think they were great home videos, so I don't regret <laughs> any of it Do you it know that's absolutely true? It You've is. got fantastic home, home videos. videos. And the kids sometimes, Junior will still say, oh, can we watch the Dubai episode? You know, he still, they still love that trip to Dubai yeah. that we did. So for them, this is, it's home videos. That's what it is. No, that's very and true. And I don't regret it at that's all. That's a really, really good way to look at it as well. They don't miss it, presumably, because they don't, you know, they're kids. I mean, no, Junior's, look, Junior's giving me grief at the moment for the high-waisted trousers I'm wearing on Strictly. And he's he? not letting it go. Okay. So I'm I'm trying to explain to him that these, you know, because he wants to be on stage, but he said, do I have to wear stuff like that to be right. on stage? I'm I like, think it's well, kind of inevitable that your yeah. kids will follow you, you know, they, they will, because apart from anything else, they see the fact that you really enjoy what you do. Yes. And it's a great life. And the thing is, we, we did talk about this too, and I've talked about this to you before, you have got this work ethic that you, you know, you, you've inherited from your parents because you've got your kids to look out for. It is. You know? And, do you know, it's only when you have kids, and I know people sometimes who don't have kids go, oh, gosh, people that have kids go on about their kids. Well, you do, because they become you. your life yeah, yeah. and you become, they become your main priority. But my parents always used to say things like, everything we've got here, we're doing it for you. Yeah. And you don't kind of get it until you have children and you realise exactly. that everything you're doing work-wise is going to be for them. Mm. You leave it for them. You can build trust funds and all sorts of things, but everything you, ha you have will go to them eventually. No, exactly, exactly. Mm. Peter, you're going to come back in round about Christmas time to perform for us, which I'm looking forward yes. to. The album is out right now. And good luck. And, and good luck on Saturday. Can I just say one more thing? Sure. All the stuff I've learned on that show, I'm going to take on my tour next year and I'm going to make it a special show. Wonderful. So. A spectacular, a spectacular. Thank you, Thank lovely. You, Thank, Thank you. you very much.